Okay dudes, I'm back for another review. Had fun reviewing the San Martin 62 Moss. Missed a couple of things in that. Uh, one of them would be the packaging. I'm not going to bother with this one. I mean, it's basically the Seiko white box. Nothing special there. Um, but it is one of their Prospect Series divers. Very, very cool. Uh, very fun. Love this watch. Got it earlier this year. Now, this one wasn't really on my, you know, to get list, but um, I ended up seeing it out at the mall, shopping with the wife, tried it on, fell in love with it. How can you not love that dial? It's so gorgeous, that gradient from the blue to the dark black, which is supposed to be, you know, reminiscent of the ocean as you lose light and you go down in depth. The texture on it is amazing. If I uh, zoom in here, you can kind of see those lines. Um, basic specifications for this, again, this is the Save the Ocean Turtle, model number SRPC91. Um, very nice watch, one of my favorites. Uh, I'm kind of a serial flipper and uh, haven't even thought about selling this one even once. So. Very happy to have it. It's a keeper for me. Um, now, currently on Amazon, you can get these for around three fifteen. The lowest they're going for on eBay is two eighty two, or you can buy it used for two sixty nine. And I think for a thirteen dollar price difference, you know, I would just buy it new. Um, my example, obviously, well loved. I like to wear dive watches again at night so I can see what time it is when I wake up in the middle of the night. And as you all know, the Luma is outstanding on Seiko with their Luma Bright. Um, now this has seen some action at the local water park. Oceans of fun for those of you that are familiar with Kansas City, Missouri. Gosh, that dial is gorgeous. Um, basic specifications of this thing. 45 millimeters in diameter, which would seem large. It's really not that bad. I have a seven inch wrist. I'd say, you know, most reviewers have said this wears more like a, a 42, and I think I would agree with that. It definitely wears a lot better than the dimensions would suggest, especially the, um, the rubber strap on this is definitely a lot nicer than the cheaper ones that they'll put on, you know, just the base SKX models. Um, it's a lot softer, a lot more compliant. Let's look at the, um, the back here. The buckle is signed. Uh, so is the keeper. It's kind of a brush. Let me see if I can get that to focus real quick. Sorry guys, again, we're using my camera phone. And uh, let's see if this makes a difference. So I really want to get in close so you can see. There we go. Brushed, very nice brushing. I don't know if you can see some little scratches in there from, you know, dust diving and just normal wear and tear. Again, this watch definitely gets used by me. Also has a, so Seiko on the buckle. Very nice, good font, very legible. And uh, also, it's 13.5 millimeters thick, which isn't too thick. It has the um, NH36 movement in here with hacking and hand winding, has the day date function, as you can see. Yeah, very popular on most divers, it's on the SKX, SKX 009, 007 series. So, very, very cool watch. 22 millimeter lug width, so strap changes, very easy, especially looking at this case, you can see the drilled lugs, so that's gonna make that a lot easier for you. Highly polished case, has that PVD coating on the edge of the bezel, and then also on the crown, which is unsigned. But I love to look at this one. Um, you know, between this and the Samurai Save the Ocean, I definitely prefer the look of the turtle. So 41 hour power reserve, 200 meters water resistant, ISO certified, unidirectional rotating dive time bezel, um, 24 joules has the uh, hacking for the second hand. Let's uh, look at the action on the bezel real quick. This one's pretty nice. I don't know if you can hear that clicking. It's pretty buttery smooth. 
nice action, nice sound. And then also, if I get this back to the 12 o'clock position, there we go. Just the tiniest bit of back play there. I think you can see, you know, a lot of people have issues with the alignment on the chapter ring. This one's well lined up, so I don't know if it makes a difference being the Japan model, not the K version or the Malaysia model, but it definitely works for me. Again, very beautiful watch, great loom. Love that gradient dial. So this is just kind of a quick short review. You guys can get on YouTube and see the reviews from uh, all the other guys they are definitely a lot more professional than me. I'll go on ahead and give you a wrist shot so you can see how that wears on the 7 inch wrist. Also, go on ahead and look at the uh, screw in case back. Of course, got the typical wave on there. Let's get this on for you real quick. All right. So, one of the things that other reviewers have kind of mentioned is is the uh, overhang on the strap here. You can kind of see that. You know, just move the keeper up. That's what I do. And uh, looks a little bit better. One thing about that keeper though, it will kind of move throughout the day. So I'm constantly adjusting that. Just a minor annoyance, nothing to really put me off. Again, this is definitely a keeper for me. Uh, one of my long times here. So, I'll close you out with a loom shot, but uh, kind of running out of time. I actually have to get to work. You guys know Seiko. You know the loom is great. So if you all have any other questions, want to leave any comments, you know, drop them down below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little review. For those of you that are on the fence about getting this one, or maybe even the new one, I haven't seen that one in person, but I think if this one's cheaper right now, because, you know, I'm assuming they're replacing that with the newer, um, save the ocean with the uh, shark fin design in there you know no reason not to pull the trigger on this one all right y'all